players. This is my CCP, uh, a MOBA CCP M4. Um, this pistol has gone through at least a minimum of 10,000 BBs. Um, with the M110 spring, it usually uses uh, 23 gram BBs. And I'm just opening it up because I want to change the cylinder head so I could up up uh, up up the compression a little bit. And I decided, well, it's probably a good time to make a video on how how much maintenance I have to put on to this gun. So as you've seen on the earlier videos, this is a modified CCP. Um, I only had two things fail actually on this during the when I was uh, using this pistol for a CQB and actually a lot of the stuff failed within less than 3,000 rounds actually only two items was like I said the spur gear um, this is not the original spur gear this is a SHS uh, spur gear and SHS bevel gear like I said the spur gear failed it lost its uh, axle and teeth and that happened in I think less than a thousand rounds and this thing is only shooting at most 20 RPS at best. Um, so there you go. Like I said, this was the second uh, spur gear that failed me with the MOBA series. Um, the only th other thing that failed was the bevel bushings. Um, I replaced it with, uh, uh, I think this is a GNP uh, ball bearing. So after 10,000 rounds, spur gear, the, the ball bearing's been holding up. Let's take a look at the gears. Bevel gear still looks pretty nice. Uh, a little bit, a little bit too much grease, but we'll take that off. Uh, oh, here it is. Oops. <clears throat> Try and get the spring for the anti-reversal latch out of here. Looks like this uh, anti-reversal latch still looks pretty good. I don't see any unusual wear. I'll just put it back a little bit. This guy's been doing fairly well. I don't see any problem with the anti-reversal latch. Uh, I'm going to take this off. Okay, let's see how the sector gear held up. The magnet's kind of holding on to one of the shims. Let's make sure they all stay together. Teeth still looks pretty good. Um, I don't see any unusual wear on this one. So, sector gear held up pretty well. Okay. The spur gear on this one held up pretty well too. So pretty happy that this thing's last. I don't see anything wrong with these bushings. Trigger looks okay. It just has some white out dust on my Air nozzle. Air nozzle still looks pretty good. I don't see anything really wrong with this one. Just need to clean it up. This is still the original stock uh, piston. The teeth still looks pretty good. Don't see any unusual wear. Anything that's gonna stop this thing from working. So, looks like he did pretty well. Tap it plate, let's see, still feels the same, like like I've opened it before, no unusual wear at the end. So it looks like it'll go on, uh, at least a good, probably another good 10,000 10, rounds easy. All right, so I forgot to add one thing, um, looking back at uh, cylinder head, um, Looks like it's taken a little bit of a pounding, not too bad, it's still serviceable and usable. Um, this is the original stock head, 
and still holds the air seal pretty well actually for being a single o-ring but i did say i was going to replace it with a new cylinder head double o-ring so up down compression a little bit but looking at it um definitely the piston's been slapping this head a little bit so but look like uh It'll still last another good 10,000 rounds, but definitely you could see the cylinder cylinder head getting worked by the piston head, so not too bad for 10,000 rounds, so I figured that another t it'll go another 10 before it really wears down, so just a thing to keep an eye, uh, eye on, really.